In this video, I wanted to show you a fully 100% automated YouTube and TikTok video generator. All you need is some text from a news article or a transcription from another video or even something that you write. And then this system can completely generate that video automatically. It can download the news article from the web, generate the story and the scenes, the images as well. It can also generate the voiceover from Eleven Labs, generate the captions and put it all together seamlessly. Now, my name is Stephen Pope, founder of The Content Engine. And over the past two years, I've helped hundreds of personal brands and content agencies automate and streamline their content systems overnight. So first I'm gonna show you a quick segment from the video, then I'll explain a bit about the process and then I'll show you the full video at the end. In a stunning display of cunning and stealth, one of the largest cash heists in Los Angeles' history. So in future videos, I'm gonna break down in more detail how this system works and how these different automations come together to build a final video that is uploaded into this system here with the video and the captions, just like that. But in this video, I'm just gonna go over a quick overview so you can see the power of it and you can give me your feedback and I'd love to hear how you might implement something like this in your business. So it all starts in this stories tab here. This is where you can add in any given video that you want to generate and you just just have to have this source text here, which was originally downloaded from this CNN article. And then it ultimately generates a story. This is the narration that is gonna be used in the video itself. And all of this is generated from ChatGPT in these different automations here. And then it starts to break down the story into different scenes that you can see here. So it breaks the story down into individual scenes so that we can have a narration with different images. And you can see here, it's creating different prompts to give to the AI generation generation platform. I'm currently using Leonardo.ai. And then from the scene, it creates individual parts. And this is where we can see all of the individual images that were created for each part. Now, some of the original feedback that I got when I posted this into my community, some of the people really liked the comic book story images that I used in the example, and then other people weren't a fan. And I think this can be expected. Not everyone is going to like a specific type of image that you use. But I wanted to highlight that all of this is really configured in the system, you can define different story types. So in this case, I defined a story type for engaging news. And it's this prompt here, which helped generate the actual narration for the video. And then this field here, which is linked to this table, allows us to define how many images per sentence do we want to generate for our story. And then here I can actually define how do I want to generate those different images. So in this case, I happen to ask it to create vivid, dynamic comic book illustrations, but you can design your your prompt to create any type of image that you want. You certainly don't have to create this comic book style here. I was really experimenting with just how do I create a really cool image for the news article. Now, another part that's really interesting as well is that for each type of story, you can define what you do want to approve and what you don't. So if you don't want to approve anything to generate your story, you can turn all of these options off and then the system will automatically create the story. It'll create the scenes. It'll create all the the different parts of each scene. It'll generate the images and then generate the final videos that you can see here all automatically with no human interaction. But if you would like to be a part of an approval process or have someone on your team go through and approve the images before they're actually constructed into the story, the system is set up where you can check that and then approve each part before it actually generates the image. And I did all this so that I could build a system that was flexible. It wasn't just a big massive automation that was unmanageable. Most of these automations are quite simple. They're just a few different steps. And so each of these automations is strung together in a scalable way so that you can actually produce and generate really good videos. All you're going to have to do is work on these prompts in these two sections to generate the narration that you want, and then also to generate the types of images that you want. And these automations are set up in a generic way so that we can really control the generation of the video and the prompts from within Airtable versus trying to update these complex automations all the time. So you can see when you come in and you add a new story, you're going to add that source text. It's going to generate the story. It's going to generate the scenes. And then this is where you can select what type of story it is, where we defined our story types here. So you can have an unlimited number of story types that is going to generate different types of videos. And then for each story type, again, you can generate a different prompt for what type of image you want. And then all along the way, you can approve each story, each scene, each image before it actually does anything so that you can control the quality of the output. And then again, Again, once all the automations run, it will create the finalized video and I'll go ahead and play it now. In a stunning display of cunning and stealth, 
one of the largest cash heists in Los Angeles' history, not only breaches the realms of physical security, but also opens a fascinating conversation about the evolving role of technology in modern crime. This article is of immense importance as it offers a unique insight into the sophistication of criminals and their potential use of advanced technology to bypass alarm systems, a burgeoning concern for businesses worldwide. The facts of the article reveal a daring and meticulously planned heist. On the night of Easter Sunday, burglars broke into a money storage facility in Silmar, a suburb in San Fernando Valley, and stole up to $30 million. The criminals showcased an alarmingly adept skill set, successfully evading the alarm system. Authorities believe, based on the expertise shown, the perpetrators may be a sophisticated group possibly with inside knowledge of the facility. The heist was carried out in a facility operated by private security firm Garda World. It's a wake-up call that industries need to strengthen their security measures against such potential threats. Cybersecurity is no longer a luxury, but a necessity. Stay informed about high-tech crimes and invest in cutting-edge security solutions to protect your businesses from future heists. So there you go. I hope you found this video valuable. Make sure to leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about this whole system, what you think we could do better, or what you'd like to see more of. I'm super interested in this space. This was really an experiment, but I think it has a lot of potential. And so if I could hear your feedback, that would tell me what type of videos that you would like to see more of. And if you'd like to see another really cool automation video on how you can automate and streamline your content process, check out the video that's popping up on your screen and I'll see you there.